Next we're going to be doing special tests uh, for the wrist and the hand. Uh, the first ones that we're going to be doing is for ligamentous stability. Uh, the first one is going to be for the uh, radial uh, carpal joints. Uh, we have the radial and the ulnar collateral um, ligaments. Uh, for this we're going to be doing a um, uh, valgus stress test. And the valgus stress test is going to be um, putting the wrist in a, a valgus formation, stressing the uh, radial collateral ligament. And then, and then again, if there's any uh, pain or laxity, uh, it would be a positive sign for a uh, radial collateral ligament uh, sprain. And then we can also do a varus stress test here, uh, stressing the uh, ulnar collateral ligament at the radial carpal joint. And again, for that one, we're looking for an end feel. If we don't have the end feel or there's pain or laxity, uh, then that would be a positive sign for a uh, ulnar collateral ligament uh, sprain or rupture. Uh, next we have the same uh, down in the fingers. Um, we have uh, inner, uh, we also have uh, collateral ligaments, radial and ulnar collateral ligaments that we can uh, stress. Uh, so again, uh, I'm gonna, if I take the first digit here and we apply a, a, a lateral uh, stress to the um, ulnar collateral ligament here. Again, we're feeling for the end feel. If we don't, or pain, uh, if they don't have it, then that would be a positive sign for a sprain or a rupture. Same thing, we can do a, a opposite direction. Uh, on a very stress, then you would be uh, testing the uh, radial collateral ligament at the um, interphalangeal joint, and this one it's the distal interphalangeal joint. And for that one, again, you're feeling for the end feel or pain. Uh, if it's there, then you have, uh, or not there for the laxity, then you would have a um, positive for a, a sprain or a rupture. And then we also have um, collateral ligaments of the uh, thumb. So this is for the metacarpal phalangeal joint. Uh, of the thumb. Uh, so the, for this one we're going to uh, fully uh, flex the thumb and then we're going to uh, again apply either a varus uh, stress here for the radial collateral ligament uh, or the ulnar collateral uh, ligament uh, on this side which is also a gamekeeper's thumb. So again any pain or uh, laxity uh, on the ulnar collateral ligament would be a positive for a gamekeeper's thumb.